Hello, Kickstarter fans, and welcome to our project, the CDFL, a second chance to make a first impression. My name is George St. Lawrence, and I'm here with my son, Peter St. Lawrence, to share with you our vision. Peter? Our vision was to help young men in this country play football up to their dreams. Their dreams have taken us so far, and what we need your help to do is to take that overseas and to help these kids shine for the whole world to see. Thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy the video, and we'll see you at the end. I owe almost everything to it, which I have spent the greater part of my life in. And I have never lost my respect, my admiration, nor my love for what I consider a great game. And each Sunday after the battle, one group savors victory, another group lives in the bitterness of defeat. When my father and I first created the Collegiate Development Football League back in 09, we really had no idea where it was going to take us. The mission was to help underprivileged young men who had suffered hardship in high school get a second chance to get recruited and go on to play football and get an education in college. The motto is a very special one. You're catering to kids, uh, young men who are 18 to 24 who want the second chance to play football who didn't necessarily get them. Just explain the motto and the three groups of student athletes that you're catering to for this league. Lindsay, I think the motto is a fantastic motto. It basically reaches out to people on a lot of different levels. Um, our motto is everybody deserves a second chance to make a first impression. And for whatever reasons, and I'm going to give you the, the three models. There might be a, a, a senior who gets injured in his football season, is not able to finish out, and unfortunately that ends his football career. In the past, that's the case. With the CDFL in existence, that won't be the case. There will be an opportunity for the injured player. There's also the player that attends a local community college because of maybe academic or financial reasons, can't pursue the dream of football beyond high school. We want to give that player that opportunity to do that and do it in an age group category that would still allow them to have eligibility for the potential college level. And then the third player is a player who maybe is home working with the family in the family business, maybe the son of a plumber, an electrician, who um, still has that dream and that fire. Maybe they came out of high school and they were you know, smaller in stature and they developed into their body and there's no outlet for them to be able to play the great game of football. And so we're gonna to try to provide that. To accomplish this, we went out and we recruited and we found that a lot of our kids were coming out of the inner cities from across the country just looking for a shot. These young men played so hard with everything they had because they were so grateful for the second chance to be discovered. The emotions were running so high on game night that it became clear to everyone involved that there were forces at work here beyond us, and we needed to keep going despite not having a whole lot of money. As that first season in 09 came to an end, we sat down and looked at where we were at. We had 15 guys go on to play in college, and one kid, our MVP, go on to play professionally in Poland, where he still is today preparing for an upcoming trial with the NFL. It was then that we decided to take the CDFL to the next level to get the college coach's attention to really start buying into this vision. We created three college football all-star games, the D3 Senior Classic. Good afternoon and welcome to Salem, Virginia. Coming up, it's the D3 Senior Classic. It's the best and brightest that Division III football has to offer. The FCS Senior Scout Bowl. Once again, welcome back to Fowler Field in Middletown, New York. It's the FCS Senior Scout Bowl. Looking again to the far side, he's got a man open, the ball is caught, touchdown! Amar Smith catches the ball and it's a touchdown. And last but not least, the D2 versus NAIA game. Running out of opportunities to tie the game or D2. He's going to go for it, he's looking at the near sideline, caught it! Touchdown! D2 oh my on the reception. Number three, Mike that, Rodriguez. The tight end out of Tusculum. After humble beginnings and what was thought to be an impossible venture, the CDFL is proud to have helped send 26 players to college and 19 players from our college games to the pros. 
side. That one is caught down the sidelines. Amon Smith gets another first down, and the South is moving the ball. Well, Smith has done a pretty good job catching the ball out of the backfield. Now we stand looking at a new frontier. The European Professional Football All-Stars have challenged the CDFL American team, which will be comprised of CDFL standouts and our college All-Stars, to the first ever Euro-American Challenge International Scout Bowl taking place this fall in Warsaw, Poland. With your support, together, we can document this entire journey from its gritty start three long years ago to tell the story of these incredible young men who have put everything they are on the line for one last chance to follow their dreams. With all of the ring, and all of the money, and all of the color, and all of the display, they linger only in the memory. These are the things that endure. Hi again. Thank you for taking the time to view the trailer for our upcoming full-length documentary, A Second Chance. Without your support and the fantastic medium of Kickstarter, this dream could never become a reality. On behalf of myself, my father, our players, the parents, and the rest of the CDFL family, I want to say thank you for helping us fund this story and come with us on this unbelievable journey wherever it may take us.